We have our GitHub account and we created a repository called Hello World. What's our next step, Sean? Next, we actually need to clone down the repository. To clone down the repository, we need to navigate to the repository homepage on GitHub. Then once that page is up, notice it's at our profile and then the repository name. We have this green button over on the right hand side to say you can clone or download. We actually want to clone this down. So let's click that button. It says clone with HTTPS. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to copy that URL by selecting it and pressing Control Z, or I could simply press this button that says copy to clipboard. Once we have that, we need to open the terminal and actually navigate to where we want this repository to sit. So in our instance, we want to navigate to documents by clicking CD documents and then actually navigating into projects. So CD projects. And now we're actually in that file system at that location. Now with that URL copied from that clone folder and us in the correct spot in our file system, let's type in the command git clone and then paste that URL. Once you do that, it says cloning into hello world. And now if I do ls to see actually the repository's content, the file's contents, folder's contents, we see now we have a folder called hello world. If I even navigate into hello world and click ls, we notice that the readme exists. This is the same readme that we can look over onto, oops. That was me. And you can even see if we list all of the hidden files, we actually see that the .git ignore exists and the readme.md file exists. These are both the same files that currently exist in our Git repository. Mind you, there is also another file called .git and that's simply Git and the way it tracks our files. But with this, now we can actually start implementing stuff inside of our repository on our local machine. So we now have a clone copy in this directory but we still don't have an Xcode project in it. How do I create an Xcode project in this directory and have Git recognize what I'm putting in there? So now we need to actually open up Xcode. Let's create a new project. Is this what you meant? Mm -hmm. Single view application, next. Project name should typically be somewhat related to the what you name the repository. In this instance, it's going to actually be the exact same. Hello world. Language Swift. Well, re, uh, correct that. There we go. Hello world. Organization and name, organization identifier, normal. So we, we did name it exactly the same, but it doesn't have to be, right? You know, the repository no. could have a different name than our product name. Correct. So can, for example, our product name could be hello space world here because Apple allows that and still have it in a repository called hello world, one word, correct? Right, and let's do that now. Let's call our product name hello space world. Our bundle identifier, notice now it has a dash instead of a space, that's fine. And we're actually going to save this inside of our repository called hello world, all one word camel cased. So with all of our options selected that we want for our project, let's click next. Now we actually need to navigate to that file structure of the repository that we just cloned down. So it would be projects, documents, projects, hello world. Now with the readme, we can see that. Let's click create. And before you do that, I notice it had the create git repository checked. And as soon as you entered that directory, it unchecked it because it figured out there already was one. Right, and you can even see that message here. The folder hello world contains a Git repository. The reason why it's disallowing that selection is we do not want multiple Git repositories inside the same Git repository that I believe Git would just lose its mind. Well, I think it would overwrite what's there. Right, so yeah. that's not what we want. So let's leave that unchecked. If you somehow manage to check it, I, it's not possible. I'm trying to click now. With that, let's click create. Now we've created a project in GitHub. Not, we've created a local Xcode project, and now we need to push that to GitHub. Do we have to commit this before we push it? We do. So to commit, we need to go up to source control, up in Xcode. It's in the menu bar. Now we need to go down to commit. 
and everyone's a commit message. This commit message should be describing what you have done recently since the last time you've commit. Since we have not actually committed in this Xcode project, it means that we need to do a commit message that tells what we've done so far, and that would be create an initial Xcode project. So let's call it that. Created an initial Xcode project. And I'm gonna select this push to remote. Selecting this will actually push our commit, our save that we can picture it, so our entire Xcode project up to GitHub for us. So uh, before you click that, so our options would be we could commit and then we could separately go up to source control and push, or here we're committing and pushing kind of in sequence in one step. Correct. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna click commit 14 files and push. Yours might not actually be 14 files. We've checked um, core data as well as UI and unit tests. So we might actually have more files than another project might contain. That's not the important part. Just let's press commit X files and push. And it may take a second. That's because it's actually reaching and pushing out to GitHub. And you can even see the progress up here saying committing. So we're using GitHub for the first time. Correct. And in order for it to actually put stuff on GitHub, it needs to know our credentials. And that would be the same username and password that you use to actually create your GitHub project. Make sure you don't put your email. This would be the actual username that you selected. So ours would be tech innovator and our password. And press OK. So now that we have that, we have actually pushed our GitHub to the, our Git project to the server, and we can actually refresh our GitHub page. And notice now we have a hello world folder there. And notice the message right next to it, created an initial Xcode project. Now our Xcode project re resides on GitHub. So let's imagine for a moment that we destroyed our project. I'm gonna destroy our project. So I'm gonna close Xcode for a moment. I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna go back a directory and I'm gonna say rm-rf hello world. And it's gone. And now so, I'm really, really upset, except we can get this back, can't we? Exactly, and if you're not a very terminal focused person, we can even navigate to that same spot in our full file system. Notice hello world does not actually exist in our projects folder anymore. So we actually need to clone it down again because it still resides on GitHub. I could go up here and I can refresh. Hello world still there, our docket ignore our readme all still exists. So we need to clone it down. So now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna clone it down a different way this time. So we already saw how we could do it from the command line. So I'm gonna go here to clone or download, and I'm going to copy the HTTPS URL, and I'm going to open Xcode, and I'm going to go up to source control, checkout, and I'm going to enter a repository, hit next, and it's going to say, hey, I have whole world, where do I want to put it? I want to put it in projects, I download it, and now we have a low world back. I'm going to click finish. So uh, just to summarize, we created a repository. We then, what's the, what's the step called where we cloned. get it? We clone it down and we could clone it at the command line. We could also clone it up from Xcode. And then before we had an Xcode project in it, we went into Xcode, we created an Xcode project, put it in there. We had to commit it. And then we had to push it up to GitHub and when we commit, we can also automatically tell it to push it.